guys, Veldrin here. Today uh, we're bringing you the final from the Star Championship in Malmö, Sweden. Uh, this is the first Star Championship, which was pre-Wave 8, so there is just Wave 7 stuff here. And uh, you're going to see Roina and his dual IGs versus Buge and his uh, Decimator Echo build. And the last time you saw Buge, he lost to Kaspar in the final round of Swiss. And that meant that they were paired up again in the semi. And this time Buge showed that he had uh, learned from his mistakes, as even after losing the Decimator pretty early to the Rebel Sea Swarm, Echo proceeded to just dance around and avoid fire and just take out every single Rebel, fi Rebel fighter without suffering even a single hit from Kaspar's uh, Swarm. So uh, now we're going to see Dual IGs versus Decimator Echo. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome to the final match of the Playotech um, Store Championship in Malmo. It's uh, Michael Dennis here from the 186 Squadron again, and I've got with me Alex Burt, who also is from the 186 Squadron, and you may know from our podcast. Hello, Alex. Hello. So we're going to provide the commentary for this exciting final match. And um, tell me, Alex, what do you think about the lists here? Well, firstly, it's really exciting to see Echo on the final table at uh, what I'm led to believe is quite a large store championship, uh, especially with Lone Wolf. Uh, so I'm really, really psyched to see how this match plays out. Uh, well, I agree with you. And also, it's interesting because a lot of people have been saying recently that sort of decimators are done, uh, especially with all the TLTs around. So, again, really nice to see that. And I was playing quite a similar list in the store champs last year um, with Echo and Shurino. So, yeah, very excited. They had um, said that the Thai Swarm, the resurgence of the Crackshot Swarm, would also be the death of Decimators. Not that Crackshot really makes a difference, but I was gonna Decimators say. certainly don't like all those Thais. <laughs> you think that Decimators would be quite good at um, not really sort of well, negating the Crackshot almost, um, and then the Phantom would be able to just kind of clean up afterwards, hopefully. Well, I think that's sort of part of the idea of these two ships, isn't it? Because this particular Echo build looks like it would be very effective. Well, it's got Agent Callus who helps against a single ship, but Echo is also very effective against swarms of ships, isn't she? Yeah, absolutely. Because they just can't block her decloaks. Um, and then if it's Echo against a few ships, you can just run rings around and never get shot and then just kind of pick them off slowly. Although with the, uh, the sensor jammer, I tend to find that I'll almost always roll like one iron three blanks on the attack. So <laughs> without the fire control, it'll be interesting to see what the damage happens like. That's true. Although I think Echo does have the potential, especially because she's so good at controlling range. Echo does have the potential to sort of burn things down a lot more slowly. Yeah. Like it, it's funny with Whisper, what I found myself doing often to boost his survivability um, would be to have taken evade action and rely on the target lock from the fire control system to hit my target and then I would get a a, um, a, focus. a focus token and I'd have a focus and an evade on defense Yeah. but I suppose Echo's got the sensor jammer to contribute to defense and Agent Callus as well and the lone wolf, if this, and the lone wolf that's absolutely true yeah so, I mean, realistically, even if she's getting shot before she cloaks, uh, she should be able to quite consistently tank two of the shots, uh, or like three if she evades. Well, she's got Emperor Palpatine as well. Yeah. Um, until until Oiken meets his end. Uh, it's also really interesting to see the ion projector on Oiken, especially with Palpatine. Um, I don't know how much it's going to do in this game with uh, the big bases on the other side of the board, because obviously they're going to need to get hit twice, but uh, against like a, a Poe or something, it's basically like, well, you're just staying here until you die then. Right, because Palpatine can use his effect to make sure that the ion projector uh, happens every single time they bump. Exactly. So in theory, uh, Oiken could just keep a ship stuck on him forever. 
yeah. if he lines himself up correctly. Yeah, absolutely. Whilst Echo can get ship. behind and then kind of put in a finisher if you get bored. It'd be interesting to see if he did that in any of his uh, previous rounds. So the um, the IG's setting up here, and um, these are the heavy hitter IG's with the glitter stim and crack shot, and um, they've both got heavy laser cannon as well. Yeah. Yeah. If uh, Eke gets shot by them, then I don't know if even Callus and the Lone Wolf are going to do that much. Really, going to have to rely on the bendy decloaks to dodge those massive arcs. Absolutely, and um, and well, the um, I mean, they don't have superb action economy, so she will be able to leverage that sensor jammer against them. Yeah, uh, well, unless they pop the glitter stim. Yeah, unless they pop the glitter stim. Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's frightening. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be honest. If I was playing Echo, I would not want to be against that IG build, to be honest with you. And it looks like. Um, so it looks like the now Echo deployed first, didn't she? So it looks like um, the Imperials have initiative. Yeah, which makes sense because you want to be able to shoot and then recloak. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if that was. If, I'm not sure. I couldn't tell who had the choice, but if that was me, I might think to give away the initiative so that I could try and. Uh, Make sure that I wasn't. I mean, to prevent the IGs from like boosting to get shots or whatever. Yeah, I'd be. Um, I would be tempted to give the IGs initiative. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see um, if he opens up and just guns straight for Echo. Um, I'm assuming that he's not just going to joust both of the IGs. Um, with Echo? Yep. <laughs> so if no, he can, I, don't, I don't think so. If he can um, use Oikon to block one, like split off, um, and then sort of single one out without getting return fire, then they should be able to get down quite quickly. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, they're so fast. And because Echo's maneuvers aren't straight like Whisper, Echo's, I think, actually potentially slower than Whisper, right? Uh, yes, potentially. Um, but then the sort of, if you go two bank forward um, and then another bank move, um, then that's still pretty fast. Right, but uh, so the IG's top speed is is effectively a six forward, right? Because it's a three forward plus a boost. Yeah. Um, and then Echoes would be like a full forward and a two back. Yeah. But she wouldn't be flying straight, which would be something to consider, I suppose. Yeah. But it looks like the IGs have predicted um, predicted Echo here, unless that other one's going to guard the flank. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see which way he decloaks next turn. Is he gonna? So the one behind actually bumped. He moved first and bumped the one in front. Oh, okay, I missed that. So he's gonna stay in the corner, I think. Ah, so it's probably quite risky to send Echo up that side, knowing that that yeah. one can just turn in and then boost forward and have a shot straight away. I'd also be tempted to keep Echo. You can do whatever you want. Mere I'd be tempted to sort of keep Echo on the other side of the obstacles as well. Yeah. Yeah, I do quite like leveraging the um, sort of dancing around the asteroids, making sure you've got an extra obstructed shot. Um, but then you don't really want to be at range 3 of anything that has all uh, Especially without anything to modify your attack dice. Yeah, that's true. So those are some interesting looking uh, shield tokens on the decimator there. They're very, very red. <laughs> yes. Well, yep, turning in. Just like the egg in the so while we wait for these uh, these ships to engage here, I was going to say you've flown Echo a whole bunch, and actually so have I. And uh, did you did you have 
any problems with what we we've, we've termed echo brain? Absolutely, <laughs> echo brain is definitely real. Um, and my favourite instance of echo brain uh, it was in a top four match at uh, Store Champs last year, and I declicked echo and I turned her around 180 degrees when I put her at the end of the template and my opponent was like, That's, that, you can't do that I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, and I kind of planned my move um, and sort of tried to go the wrong way and it was oh, it was a mess um, and then predictably she died basically the next turn because I just, I just couldn't handle it anymore and that was the end of my day <laughs> It is absolutely true. It's uh... my other favourite trick is uh, decloaking and then doing a hard three turn and landing slap bang in the middle of the big rock. <laughs> Oh god, she's got so many options. Oh yeah, and it, it's one of my favourite ships to fly though. It is, yeah. I mean, I adore Flying Echo. Um, I still really love Flying Echo, but she's so unforgiving. Oh, it's the decimator on the rock there. No, I don't think it is. Looks like it's squeaked in. We'll see if he rolls for damage. Well, he crossed the other rock, so he doesn't get any actions, but it doesn't look like he's rolled for damage. So. There's that focus on Echo. Echo's got a green token of some kind. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see where he goes next turn, because it doesn't look like he's left himself with a whole lot of options to be like. So if this was you, which IG would you be going for first? Oh, B for sure. Absolutely B. Um, do you disagree? Oh, I meant positionally. I'm not actually sure which one's which, to be perfectly honest. Right, I, I actually can't tell which is which either. Um, but I guess, I don't know, I, was, I always think that... Wait, can we tell from the art and the card, which one's the which one has the card we can see on the table there? Because that's the one that's just used glitter stem. Yeah, just pop the glitter stem. Uh, is that echo shooting first? Yeah. Is that two hits? Yeah, it looks like he's evaded everything. Echo's recloaked. With, uh, with it looks like he didn't even need to use his token. No. Saving it for the defense, I guess. I think you probably rolled a couple of eyes, but I couldn't quite tell from this angle. So that's actually 88, IG-88C that's just used the uh, glitter stem. So it's B, the gunner IG that's uh, flanking. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, that's the one you'd want to uh, protect, I think. Not that you, you're going to be able to use your gunner against the decimator at all. Well, unless you just roll accordingly. <laughs> Oh, that's true. It'll save you from those complete blankouts. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, against Echo with Crackshot, you're probably not going to be using it that many times either. Well, Echo with Crackshot, but Lone Wolf, Sensor Jammer, and Palpatine. It's a lot of uh, a lot of dice modifications going on. That's true. That's true. Especially with the focus taken. Do we know which IG has callused? It looks like Echo's just lost both shields. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I don't know which IG he's used callous on, actually. That's the decimator shooting the IG. I would imagine he would have used callous on IG-88 uh, B, right? Yeah, but um, there's an argument for using going against uh, C um, and stopping them getting that action apparently. Because the evades are going to be very annoying because you want to take them down as quickly as possible. Um, and if you're not getting shot, then the gun is not really going to do a lot. That's assuming you can stay out of arc long enough not to get shot. So which way is Echo going to go? Is she going to go and go towards IG-88B? Or do you reckon she's going to try and squeeze through those rocks and get behind C? Um, 
Ja, men alltså, om jag oh. gärna 20 reason. Has he got room? Kan jag uppgradera min egen? Han får plus ett bara Oh, it doesn't look like he has got room. Checking his dial again. Oh, hey. And therein is the um, the challenge of Echo, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You can be... You know, I played so many games with Echo. I was running her in the uh, competitive season last year. I took her to um, uh, store champs and regionals. And yeah, I took her to regionals as well. Um, and I did appallingly. <laughs> Still so difficult. If he set his move, assuming he was decloaking the other way, this might end really badly for Echo here. One damage from the bomb on Oiken though, that's good. Yeah, Oiken's getting that damage in. Is that the first shield that the IG's taken? Has Oiken also managed to avoid that asteroid? Uh... Uh oh, nope. nope. <laughs> The, oh, that's that's. Oh no, that's not a good spot oh. for Echo. That's extremely bad. Is that a crit? No. No, no I think he avoided. Wow, well, he could have palped it anyway, couldn't he? That's true. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, range one, a crack shot, glitter stem. I don't think Echo is long for this world. We've all been there, though, right? Can't fit in the deck like you want. End up on a rock. Yeah. Yeah. We've all been there. There's uh I mean, I've pulled off some spectacular decloaks oh, with that that? whisper. On the rock. Didn't take huh. any damage though. Sorry, you're but, saying. Uh, I was just saying, I've pulled off some spectacular decloaks with Whisper and some absolutely appalling ones, you know. But it always feels like you're walking a very sort of fine line. Oh, I need two hits. Can you do it? Okay. Okay, so he's actually managed to evade both by palpatining. Yeah. But now IG's got the target lock and is going to fire again. I would have been tempted just to take the one the Well, one no, because it's a range one, so he can't, he can't use his uh, cannon shot. Oh, very good point. Very good point. Can't fire again with the heavy laser. But then Echo's going to go through the debris again, and then be stressed again. So it's only leaves either two forward or the two bank. So the IGs are probably going to pounce on her this turn. I she can three forward. Three forward screen on a phantom. Well, that'll be helpful in this situation. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, to be honest, she probably wants to stay close to it. Yeah. To avoid that gunner effect. Uh, shame that she's stressed, otherwise, you know, ballsy K turn, that would be fun. <laughs> I don't think... that pa That's paid off with Whisper before. I'm not sure it's ever paid off with Echo. For me. Uh, well, no, I didn't say it was a good move, I said it was a ballsy move. <laughs> I know. I'm, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just played enough phantoms that have come to horrifying ends to know, uh, to feel this pain. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> the question is, can a decimator with only hull uh, solo two IGs? That's a good question. Two IGs with autos as well. What do you reckon? A uh, hard one right from the IG and then a big turn and a boost from the other? Sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if Echo squeaks out of this, it's going to be absolutely spectacular. Yeah. But then she's still stressed, so she's going to have to do another green move next oh, turn. No. If that IG gets ranged, though, she's basically done. Yeah. <laughs> and boosted her range. Oh, dear. Oh, no, he's still stressed from Mara Jade two turns ago. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. Yeah, when he was at range one of Oiken. So he's not actually got the boost. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Looks like he's got range, though. Unobstructed? Oh, God. Oh, I can almost... I almost can't watch. Uh, this is... yeah. Looks like two hits. Sense of jammer. jammer. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> it's over so fast. So uh, echo. I have to say that echoes my experience with uh, sensor jammer. Oh, I made a pun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sensor jammer has worked so well sometimes, but it's only against certain builds. Yeah, but it's so frustrating when you like sensor jammer one shot. They haven't got a focus token, but he still failed to evade everything. Especially against those damn TLTs. Right, three hits. Oh, finally done some damage. Did some damage. Excellent. Yeah, it is annoying when um when sensor jammer is for whatever reason ineffective because it's it's four points and it's using that incredibly valuable sensor slot yeah I, I just you'd have to be really sure that you're going to be facing a lot of stuff that won't be focusing unless you um, if you don't want that fire control system because it makes such a difference echo goes from like annoying distraction to total MVP with the addition of the fire control yeah, I mean, for me, the Phantoms really need the fire. No, I don't really need, but it makes a huge difference. Yeah. You know, maybe if you had space for the recon specials, I guess with Agent Callus, um, the damage output's going to be wrapped up a bit against one ship. Yeah. Although I guess it doesn't seem to have helped very much in this particular scenario. No. But then I think that was Echo Brain fault rather than that. Uh, yeah, that deep hook onto build. the debris that he missed. I mean, that's pretty much what uh, what did it in for her. Uh -huh. And that's the thing, you know, you play with Echo really hard one game, and you burn yourself out. <laughs> yeah, and um, and especially if the game goes to time and you don't have very long between rounds, because you need like some time to recover and just kind of recharge, so you're not thinking too hard about it. Yeah, that's true. Uh. Hmm. I guess if he goes the right way, he could uh, just, like avoid one of the IGs whilst focusing down the other one. Um, I guess he hasn't got engine upgrade. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Without engine. He's not. He's slower than they are. Yeah, they're just going to be able to stay at range three and then just leverage those auto thrusters. Yeah. And uh, with the with the heavy laser cannons as well, they do so much damage. Yeah, especially with the fire controls. I mean, they're going to be getting four hits most of the time. Um, so with twelve hull, that's three shots. <laughs> And against an IG, you're lucky to be sinking one damage through with each shot. So I don't, I don't like those odds. No, I thought the one at the bottom boosted as well. The one he's shooting. Uh, yes, maybe you forgot to put the token on. Well, there's a shield he might have kept. Yeah. So it's one of the but uh, you know, shields. it's it's easy to uh, to spot these things when you're watching the video back. But of course, when you've been playing X-wing for you know six, seven, fourteen hours, you know, yeah, oh, yeah, it's absolutely. a different sort of story. <laughs> Still stressed, I think. Yeah, I don't think it's three. Oh, did he take an action? Hmm. Is that the uh, S loop? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, it doesn't look good. Does not look great. Three damage straight away. Target lock for next turn. Ooh. 
God, all that hull seems like so much. But when you just start taking hits from the big guns like that... Well, it's a lot when you're not getting shot by two heavy laser cannons. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. And then those uh, hull points just start to evaporate. Yes. We've all been there. Yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time flying the com the decimator competitively myself. I haven't really flown. Well, but uh, I think you have, haven't you? Yeah, I've flown uh, Shurano a lot, um, but being higher pilot skill with an engine upgrade, uh, I think well, that would have made all of the difference in this match. Um, but then, obviously, Absolutely. I guess he got to the final table, so he must have been doing something right. Um, and like he I also said, just landed a hit and a crit on that IG. Yeah. And I think this build would be really good um, against a lot of stuff that we've been seeing competitively lately. Um, if you get an ace with on the ion projector, then that's potentially a third of someone's list uh, that they're just not going to be able to use. Hey, ion projector time. So it's times like this where I think I would prefer NTPC lasers. Yeah, I agree. Um, against against any small ace, I'd prefer the uh, ions, I think. On Oiken. On Oiken, uh, yeah, I agree with that. But uh, yeah, If you manage to bump into Sintir once, then it's just hilarious. <laughs> Oh dear. Four hits. <laughs> oh. Especially if you can no, just hit three. him head on. So that's that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> Firing back. Better make it count, I can. I mean, it's technically possible to kill him off. So unfortunately, we can't see how much hull that other IG has, but it looked like he was uh, removing shields and not dealing damage cards. Yeah. So it's the it's the one that bumped that has the crit on it. Yeah. It's a shame we can't see what crit that is. Mm. But I bet guess they're both going to be stressed now as well. Oh, another. Oh no. What's so that? Oiken just bumps him. Oiken just plowed into him. Yeah. Ah, that makes I sense. Assume. Yeah. Is everybody just not moving? Huh. Hey, ionized. Amazing. Well, if Oiken can survive this, then he's got that other IG. Yeah, well, I mean, if it was me, I probably would have just done a one forward with that guy and uh, gone for the range one shot, because four hits, then that's yeah. going to be game. There it is. And there it is. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Dead decimator. I don't know what's uh, what that discussion's about, but uh, uh, you reckon it's like, oh, if only I hadn't miscalculated that, that decloak and ended up on that debris field. <laughs> Because look at the, the difference. If you'd managed to squeeze in between those two rocks and get around the outside, then that would have been a couple of turns of uh, Echo shooting the IG in the side without getting return fire. It's incredible, isn't it? Um, if you think, if you look at the board now, to imagine he was going to deep cloak towards that debris field uh, at the top and yeah. then wound up on the one at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. The distance <laughs> is incredible, isn't it? And that's, uh, that's, that's what causes Echo Brain, of course, is just all those potential combinations. Yeah, and, and it's also thinking through, like, where could I be? Where do I want to be? Where does he think I'm going to be? Well, if I put the two-bank template the other way around and then decloak that way in hard turn, where am I going to end up? It's just like millions of combinations, I think maybe even literally. I used to run Echo with advanced sensors as well, so you could bow roll. Uh, oh, well, if you don't, uh, if you could have done... If you could have done that. Well, I suppose that was um, before the the change to the decloaking. 
No, that was after. I only started running the Phantom after the change, for whatever reason. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Well, I guess with the advanced sensors, then he could have avoided that debris field. But actually, could you... I'm trying to remember if you could advance sensors before decloaking. You can't before anyway. decloaking, but you can before you move. 